enormously proud of the brilliant work you do for kids and young people uh, throughout the Royal Town, but also wider. And they're one of the units that comes top for the whole country. I'm here with the leader of the Royal St. Kilfield Town Council, Simon Ward, and we're at the headquarters of the Royal St. Kilfield Sea Cadets. And I'm here with the chairman and also with the guy who's responsible for training in this brilliant, brilliant setting, all the young people who come here. So you've got a new project, and it's a brilliant project. Just tell us what the essence of it is. So Sutton Coalfields had an amazing ship built back in 1950s by the uh, youth and the parents and it's now got into the stage where we want to see it redeveloped and the essence of uh, uh, trying to get the town's support so that we can build a futuristic ship that's going to be based on a Type 26 Royal Naval frigate so it'll be a very, very unique building. And it will also have facilities for the wider community quite apart from the young people who get trained here. Tell us about how many young people come here at the moment and what happens. So we currently have 80 cadets here at the moment. They take part in many different activities, um, everything from field craft to specialisations in marine engineering, catering and first aid. They then carry on to do boating activities out on the water with the RYA, um, doing sailing and kayaking and power boating and all the different activities that help young people get the best possible head start in life. It's a brilliant project. It's been here for many years. I've been the president of the Sutton Hillfield Sea Cadets now for more than 20 years. I'm enormously proud of the brilliant work you do for kids and young people uh, throughout the Royal Town, but also wider. And they're one of the units that comes top for the whole country nearly every year. So it's a, it's a gem in the Royal Town of which all of us are very proud.